Rav Cook Selected Letters Chapter 2, the topic is Torah versus Other Religions uh, The Preface to Letter 10 Rather than fight against Christianity and other religions, Judaism should fight together with them against atheism and materialism. Letter number 10 By the grace of God, the holy city of Jaffa may be built and established 5th of Yah 5669, which is the 26th of April 1909. Peace and blessing from the Holy Land to my dear friend, the wise Rav, overflowing with Torah and awe of God, our teacher Rav Menasha Levine. May he live a long and good life. Amen. My apologies. Considerable time has passed, and I have not found free time to write you even a short letter, and I greatly desire to know all that you are doing, in precision and great detail. And may God make you succeed. I hope you will fulfill my request and inform me with frequent letters of all that I desire to know. My apologies, considerable time has passed and I have not found free time to write you and even a short letter and I greatly desire to know all that you are doing in precision and great detail. And may God make you, su- make you succeed. I hope you will fulfil my request and inform me with frequent letters of all that I desire to know. Regarding my statement, uh, the footnote is from letter 11. In this weakened situation, Christianity appeared and caused division in the nation. Its founder had a wondrous force of personality and his spirit's flow was great, but he did not escape the pagan fault, which is the strengthening of the spirit's flow, without an ethical and scholarly education, and was so overcome by his flow of spirit, and had his followers also overcome by it, that they, he and his followers, lost their Jewish characteristics and their deeds and spirits became alien from the quarry from which they were hewn. The quotation is from Rav Cook's article Derech HaTechia in the Hebrew periodical Hanir, Volume 1, Year 1, 5666, 1905, in Letter 11. Regarding my statement, it was indeed intentional. At a time like this, it is incumbent on on us to bridge the gap from different sides. It is well known to anyone who who seeks God that there is one primary line of spirituality that penetrates the whole that religion aspires to, which is to seek the Lord in his ways. The clarity of this line is dependent on the state of the world, particularly on the moral state of those who are especially engaged in the search for God and on the extent to which their spirits are in harmony with all that is good in life. The craft of our nation, which is without exaggeration truly sacred to God, is to impress this element well in the world. In an age of decline, and and in particular at a time of the nation's many-sided impoverishment, this line became dark and very obscure, and thus a hatred of the search for God arose in conjunction with a hatred and contempt for religious faith, and not of any particular religion, but of religious faith in general. Who is the Almighty that we should serve him? from uh, Yov 21.15. Of course it is easier to attack a religion other than your own, but nevertheless, where the attack emanates from a general hatred of the search for God, such an attack is abominable and will ultimately result in an inner blemish. You sit and speak against your brother, a brother who is not of your nation. You will end up slandering your own mother's son, a son of of your nation. From Midrash Tanchuma, Pikude, on on Psalms 50.20. Therefore, in times like these, we must explain the general points of religious faith on its various levels, and let us not heed the tendency hidden within, toward utter, towards utter scorn and dreadful abhor- abhorrence of anything foreign. In this way, the light for the search of, for God will break through on all its levels, and we will then be able to distinguish between the light of other religions, which is dark and diffused, whose followers grope at noonday as if it were dark, and between the, and between the shining light and the heavens the light of God, which is upon his nation forever, from where all eternal lights receive radiance. And this approach, which does not totally reject foreign ideas, will be our salvation for us, so that when the time comes to criticise the foreign religion's establishment, where sparks of light will also be found, we will know how to deal with the ideas that sprang from these sources. And bless the Lord, my rock, who teaches my hands to war. I close with much love and loyalty from the mountains of Judea and the pride of Jacob, whom he loves, Selah. Humbly yours, Avraham Yitzchak HaKohen Cook. P.S. With much love, send regards to my friend Rav Moshe Seidel. May he live long. My inner thoughts are for him as well. Igrot 194.